Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. What we're doing, we're wiring up our 1934 Ford Coupe. And, you know, the situation we have is the guy had a 12-circuit wire harness. 12 circuits ain't going to do nothing for you. 12 circuits is only going to hook up your basics, okay, and maybe a radio, okay? No air conditioning, no, uh, you see what I'm saying? We don't have an electric fuel pump, no power windows, no remote entry doors, no remote trunks. So what is the solution to that? What do you got to do to fix the problem? Okay, what you're looking at is your basic standard 12 circuit wire harness uh, fuse box, fuse panel. It's got uh, hazard lights and turn signal flashers. It's got the uh, relay for the horn installed. And you also see all the wires hanging everywhere where we started wiring it. Well, we uh, ran into a situation, we ran into a problem that uh, we ran out of circus. Did I say circus or circuit? Circus. Oh, okay. It's because it's a fucking clown act over here. Uh, we ran into a uh, problem. We ran out of circuits for our wire harness. Uh, we ran into a uh, problem. We ran out of circuits for our wire harness. Uh, we don't have enough room, okay, to install, okay, what you got here is the power windows. We can't do that. Uh, we got the remote entry doors, okay, we can't do that, all right. We even got, okay, to, to knock it all off, we got the power trunk. We can't hook that up. So, what we have to do to make it right, okay, is if you come over here, what we got to do is we actually got to add a junction box to this vehicle. Okay, this is a waterproof setup. It's uh, encased with uh, plastic resin on the back. Okay, and what we got here, let me take that off, all right. We actually got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we got eight more circuits. We got three uh, circuits that are hot all the time, and then we got uh, five keyed circuits. Okay, now that runs down through this relay right here, this breaker switch. Okay, and this is the solution. This is what you want to do if you run into this problem. Uh, you're going to have to add on to the system that you got. That little bastard there is not expen uh, not cheap. That's 98. To hook that up, it's very simple. You got you got two wires. Okay, and of course your ground, which is going to be grounding off to the car somewhere. Okay, you got two wires. You got a hot wire that goes straight to, directly to the battery, which is down here and then comes around. That is not a middle miniature battery. Uh, that's a breaker. I'll show that to you. Okay, if I can get it off. Okay, that's a breaker right there. Okay, so you don't uh, discharge any of your energy or short anything out. And then you got the hot wire, which we ran back through the uh, firewall. And here's the wire right here, okay? And we, we hooked it up into our ignition switch, which is right there. Okay, we hooked it up into the ignition switch so when you turn the key on, these ones all work. What do you think of that idea, Charlie? Sounds good. You think it's going to work? Yeah. You think we covered our ass on this? Yeah. I mean, the guy's got the electric fuel pump we couldn't hook up. All right. Okay. Uh, if you look down here, we got the power window still. Okay, that's the, let's see what we got. We got power windows, remote entry doors. That's two right there. Okay, and then we got the remote trunk. So that's our three hots, okay? So we're going to use all three of these automatically, okay? And then on top of it all, we got the electric fuel pump. And then who knows what else we might have to hook up. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so that's the situation we have. To this has just been a short little explanatory. Charlie, yeah. can you please put this back on? Look. Okay. That's our water cover cap there, bud. 
Okay. Pop it back on there. And uh, this has just been a little tech tip from my friend Pete, a little short explanatory video to uh, explain to you when you run out of uh, circuits on your wire harness, that's the professional way, that's the, the upgradable type way instead of jumping wires and hooking wires into your fuse box coming out of the fuses or taking a wire and wrapping it around your fuse and then sticking it back in there, okay, that's the, what you want to do, all right? Uh, it sounds a little bit expensive, but you won't have any serious, you won't have no electrical problems in the future. It's professionally done, and you can do it at home, okay? Don't let the big guy do it for you. Don't let the guy charge you millions of dollars when you, okay, can take my friend Pete's advice. I just saw you, I showed you how to do it within a split three or four minutes. It's easy, it's simple, and it's actually relaxing and fun, okay? Get off your ass, get something done, and if you're running out of circuits, whether in your brain or in your car, we just hooked you up. That's a My Friend Pete hookup straight from Southwest Rod and Custom, Dallas, Texas, SWRNC.com. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.